So the trail is kind of, uh, it's a little muddy. So I'm going a little slow along here because my experience, mud makes you slip out and it hurts. But anyways, how's it going guys? I haven't made a one wheel video in a, it's been a few months. I know, I regret to say that, but I have reason. The number one reason, it's actually been raining a lot. We just had like a crazy like storm come through and actually do a lot of damage and like wreck roads and everything. The hope is that levels here continue to go down. They had to be rescued by helicopter. Water rushes underneath and now- Disaster, this is an emergency, a, a, state, a local state emergency. It's actually pretty wild. Some more birds flying away. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so rainy weather in, in one wheel is not, not that fun. And the other reason too, and this is uh, a little more of a selfish reason. I just been wanting to make other kind of videos too. I want to expand what I can do. So I'm sorry to all you one wheel people out there to subscribe that I haven't been making as many one wheel videos. There, there always will be more. It's just, uh, you know, I just don't know when it's going to be. So regardless, I digress. I'm out here today riding my pint with uh, the question, am I going to get the uh, Pint X or the GT? It's been something that actually has been asked to me in the comment section. And uh, I want to talk about that a little bit because it's a, uh, it's you know, new tech. It's cool. So let's uh, let's keep riding and we'll talk about it. like slabs of stone there. This is kind of what I do when I go for random rides, just kind of look at stuff. But anyways, back to the topic though, we're talking Pint X right now. Um, two questions. One, is it worth upgrading from the Pint? And two, am I gonna get it? Well, the am I gonna get it part, I'm gonna get to that. Uh, but as far as upgrading, I think if you have a Pint already and you want that extended range, I think it's definitely worth it. It just sucks if you've, like me, who already have a Pint or if you just bought a Pint, so one thing I'm hoping that Future Motion does, and if they randomly happen to see this video, which I doubt it, but if they do, an upgrade battery for the Pine. That would be so awesome if they could do that. Because my understanding, that's the only thing different. Electronics, everything are all the same. It's just the battery. So if they could do that, that would be money. Okay, so we also have the One Wheel GT. If you haven't seen that thing, it's basically the XR upgraded. Um, better battery, I think, uh, upgraded motor. I'm not entirely sure on that, but regardless, that's like a sinkhole. Ooh. Wasn't ready for that. Hmm. Anyways, <laughs> you get the upgraded XR essentially. And so one of the things with me when I bought the Pine, don't get me wrong, love the pint i really love the small form factor because i do live in a city but range range really sucks and i really wish that i i had gotten the xr for the range factor because i've read all around my area obviously i still find new stuff as i go like where i am right now i've never actually been here before hey there's like a walkway <laughs> and uh oh cool there's like a bridge here Neat. This is a good spot to sit. Okay, so I've gone most of the areas that my one wheel will let me with range, but there's still that range anxiety that even now I got like 30% battery left with my venture. No, I have 22% batteries. I got to go back already. So it kind of sucks with the range. So as far as getting the Pint X, yes, I get to double the range and all that stuff, which is great. But the PT has even more range. So is that the wiser investment? It is a lot more expensive, mind you, but you'll get that farther range. So is that the play? Is that the direction to go to? And I still have old Pinty as like a short commuter. So those are the kind of decisions I'm trying to think if I do end up getting a new one. If I do, it's gonna be a new year thing. I'll save up for it and, uh, you know, make videos about it, of course, for you guys. But uh, it's one of those things where um, I like the small form factor of the Pint X, but the one wheel GT, you're gonna get that farther range. You're gonna get that better for off-road as well because it's a bigger board. 
and that higher top speed because the the pine top speed you kind of get used to it real quick so i don't know what do you guys think leave it down in the comments below if you're already on a one wheel if you're gonna get a pint x or go for the gt let me know i'm kind of curious see what people think anyways that's gonna wrap it up because i am definitely rambling so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already because i don't know what my next video is going to be so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it we'll see you